Hello everyone. Um, I just wanted to come on here. Uh, hopefully pretty fast. I might have to make this into two videos. But I wanted to share with you all what I had gotten when I went to PolishCon um, last weekend on Saturday. It was in Brooklyn, New York. Um, I came out with quite a bit of uh, goodies and so did my daughter. She kind of jumped on the bandwagon and uh, <laughs> was asking me if she uh, could get some um, some polishes. So I didn't want to like disappoint her. So I was like, yeah, I'll grab you some. So um, what I wanted to show you guys first was the nail design that I did um, for the polish con. I kind of used the colors that they had in their background picture on their Facebook page which was like the New York skyline and um, the sky in the back was like pink and purple you know sort of like when the Sun is setting you know and night and stuff so I kind of went with the pink and purple I was gonna add blue but then I decided just to stay with the pink and the purple I did you know um, black gel polish and I just got foils that I had upstairs which luckily I had purple and pink which they kind of kind of blend together so you can't really tell like the difference <laughs> But yeah, I just kind of like randomly put um, the foil glue and just kind of tapped um, the foils onto the nail. And that's what I did on these three nails. And then on these two nails, I just put a purple gel polish and a pink gel polish. Kind of tapped it with the corresponding type of uh, foil. The pink didn't exactly match this pink, but oh well. And then I used Bottle Monsters from their Kauai um, collection which was um, a little stamping um, image of like you nail know, polish bottles and stuff. So that's what I did on both hands. So I just want to show you guys that quick. Everybody was trying to figure out what was on my nails <laughs> and I just told them foils and they were like, oh my goodness, we can't do foils. Your nails came out so pretty. So, you know, I said, thank you, of course. So yeah, that's my nail design. So since I luckily became a VIP um, ticket holder, um, somebody a couple weeks before um, the 29th said that they weren't able to use their VIP bundle, which meant that uh, you got in, I would say, about one hour early before the early entry people and then two hours before general admission for you to shop. And this and this and that because once everyone was up in there it was crazy and it was you know full so they just gave certain people an amount of time to get up in there and do their shopping so luckily uh, I was able to snag one so I had to take my son in because my husband took my uh, early entry tickets and he didn't want to have to stand in the line with my son so he kind of just switched spots with my daughter and my son so he wouldn't look you know too kind of weirded out you know two guys standing in the line to go into a polish con so that's neither here or there. So I'm going to show you guys what I got in my VIP bag, which meant that um, all of the makers that were there gave you either coupons for um, certain percentage off of your next purchase or to give you little scratch off tickets. And sometimes you would win like free polishes or anything like that. Um, or they would give you a certain uh, nail polish that they made just for the VIP bags. So let me just stop rambling and let me just get to the goodies so um, I'm trying to figure out well first let me start with Jessie's girl Jessie's girl was there this brand you can find it like uh, I think mainly like Rite Aid and stuff like that so she was there and I don't know why I freaked out and I didn't ask her for a picture you know the maker that was there because I watch her YouTube channel and I saw her and I was just like hey you know got all shy and dumb but <laughs> regretful but of course there will be other polish cons and hopefully I'll be able to say hi to her then so this is I think something new they came out with is their matte finish top coat and their jet set quick dry top coat so I saw these on the table and I thought oh cool I didn't realize that it was in my goodie bag until um, I got home because I was I wanted to really dig in while I was standing outside in the line, but I didn't like want to drop anything. So I got those to try out, so I cannot wait. And this is the polish that she included in the bag. It's a really pretty, um, like maroon red color with, uh, of course, 
a gold shimmer and the name of that one is Dolled Up Dorothy. So I have a couple of Julie G polishes. So I was happy to grab that. She also put in this uh, six in one filing and buffing system. And I think that was it for Julie G. Next I have, and these are all just to let you know indie polishes which means these are people that make their own brands of polishes that you can't find in stores except for Jessie's Girl. So it's Bohemian Polish and Wingardum Mimosa. Yeah I know that's from Harry Potter I can never say that right so <laughs> there's the name. And I thought that was really pretty. It's like a light peachy with uh, gold specks in it really pretty and then I see everybody on the polish con in search of this polish right here and it's from uh, colors by LaRoe and it's really pretty purple and it's uh, the name of it is taxi and it's a New York uh, New York City polish con VIP exclusive and it's really pretty. You can see some flakies in there, some holographic, of course. It's a really deep, like plum purple. I cannot wait to swatch these and get like uh, pictures of it, like outside in the daylight. It's really pretty. So I think in the VIP bag, I got like 18 polishes. And this one is from Great Lakes Lacquer. And this one is called Love at Grand Prospect. It's a really pretty like pinky red with some purple and gold shimmer in it. Very pretty. And then from KB Shimmer this is really pretty holographic purple and it's called excuse me I'm VI purple I like VIP real real pretty very holographic I was dying to swatch these but I didn't know exactly what to swatch them on I have the swatch sticks but I don't know if I have because I think I got in total 51 polishes so I guess I'll see. I'll see what I can do. So that's real pretty right there. And then here is from Ever After. This one's a real subtle, really pretty, shimmery, holographic purple. And this give my regards to Broadway. I know my lighting sucks. I'm just trying to get the, the right certain color. I'm trying to work on getting me one of those um, lamps, those day lamps that people use. I saw a couple at um, Michael's. So I'm trying to see if I can figure out how to get those because you know if I use the right amount of coupons and stuff it's gonna come down in price. So and this one here in this really pretty bag came from Lavish Polish. This is really pretty um, black with a like scattered hollow and the city of bright lights and it's so pretty it's a limited edition so so pretty kind of reminds you of like the the sky and the stars and just happiness oh my goodness I love that one and then here in this little pouch here is from, I think, the brand Fair Maiden. Yeah. Fair Maiden. And they also give you, like, you know, business cards and stuff like that, so you can check them out. And they also put in here this um, Speed It Up Quick Dry Top Coat. So they have a fast drying top, uh, top coat. And here is this one. It's not doing it justice. It's really pretty sort of like a mint with that uh, shimmer you see there very pretty and this one is called Lady Liberty really really 
pretty. Oh my goodness. And of course, I'm going to show what my daughter, if I didn't say, snagged. She was lucky and she got a polish for free. I'll explain that when I get to that. And here it is from the company Dollish Polish. And she sent a couple things in here. I got some stickers. So many indie polishes, not enough fingers. <laughs> and this one right here. She sent some cuticle balm. And I was cracking up at the the name of it. God of Tits and Wine. Lovely. <laughs> a little baggie of these hollowed out circle spangles. And then her business cards as well. And his this is this is I can't even talk. This is, this is the polish that she included, which is this really pretty dark blue with all this other little scattered hollow pieces, big pieces, small pieces. And it's a New York Polish Con exclusive, the city that never sleeps. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. And it's a cute little bottle too. How cute and pretty. I just love the little bottle. All right, and then do, do, do. I got this one from Blush Lacquers. And this one is called Strawberry Taffy. It's really pretty, just bubblegum, light bubblegum pink. Oh, sorry, that was out of frame. It looks lighter on um, the camera, like a really pale pink, but it has more pink in it. But it's really pretty. Yeah, pretty if it's broken. And then I have this one from Different Dimension. And this one is No Sleep Till Brooklyn. And this one's a really pale purple with some iridescent um, shimmer in it. And also iridescent glitters. I don't know if you can see that. Really, really pretty. And of course my freaking camera isn't going to pick up the prettiness of it. But it is really pretty. As you can see it in a bottle. All of that in there. It's gorgeous. And then this one is from... Oh, what the heck is this one called? Painted Polish. Sorry, I had to look at the bottle up close. <laughs> and of course my camera is going to die pretty soon. So, yeah. Second video. This one is Converse and Cronuts. And this one is just jam-packed with all different color glitters and of course, hey, um, I keep saying Halo. Holographic glitters in a pink base. So that one's going to be a party nail for sure. So I'm going to try my best to kind of speed it up because I really don't want my camera to stop on me. And here is another brand, Girly Bits. And I did not sadly get anything from some of these um, brands like the um, different different dimensions and the Bohemian and the Blush and the Lavish. There was like 35 indie polish makers there and I only got from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, maybe 10 people. So yeah, I left out a lot of people and I'm sad because I did, my wallet was screaming. But here's this one and this one is the VI Polish. Polish Con exclusive. And I'm so happy to have gotten this one in my bag. It's so beautiful. It's that really pretty blue. And it also has bigger, um, as well, like, iridescent pieces in it. I don't know if you can see. You see them? Like the bigger chunks. It is so pretty. And holographic, of course. Okay, and then from this brand, I don't know if I got anything else with them. But it's, yeah, I think it's Leisha's Lacquer. And it's the VIP bag exclusive. It's a scented top coat in Spring Garden. So I don't have to open that up, but 
It's a cute little bottle, so can't wait to try that on my nails. Um, anonymous lacquer. I did get two from this brand, and I'm thinking this is a topper. So this is sparkle on top, and it's just, of course, a clear holographic chunky, no, not chunky, but scattered hollow topper. I'm sorry if my camera isn't focusing right. Um, and then, oh no, I already showed that. And then from Glisten and Glow, I also got a couple polishes. And this one is Snorkel in St. Thomas. Really pretty blue. Oh my goodness. Isn't that pretty? I love that color. I pretty much went to Polish Con just for holographic polishes. So I am so happy that I got a couple already in my bag, in the VIP bag. And then here is um, Native War Paint. Yeah, Native War Paints. And there's their business card. They also gave a Cherry Smooches lip balm. I might give that to my daughter. And here is a polish they added. It is I'll Have a Manhattan. Really pretty, oh, like a maroon. And it has that gold shimmer to it. It's really pretty. Look at that. There are also makers there that started making stamping polishes. So, I mean, I was, I was all over the place in there. I didn't know what to grab. I didn't know what to do. It kind of sucked. Okay, and then from this brand here that came in this little pretty blue baggie there is Bluebird Lacquer. And then Participation Award is the name of this one. And this one has like a purple blue sheen to it with little specks of holographic and a really pretty deep red color. Gorgeous. And then from Sassy Pants, I think this is all I got. I don't think they put a polish in, but it is a cuticle balm in Plumeria. And you know what? I didn't even open up this to see how it smelled. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god, that smells <laughs> that smells amazing. Oh my god, that smells amazing. So I can't wait to use that. But my cuticles be looking dry sometimes. And then Turtle Tootsie. They just started to make these oh sorry, started to make these sugar scrubs. And the scent that I got was Beautiful Day, which is a two ounce. It came with a little scraper as well, so that must be still in my bag. I guess I didn't take that out. So I can't wait to use that. And then they gave a lip balm in the scent caramel corn. And I was surprised that she, she lives in uh, Schnecksville, PA. Which I was like, hey, we're practically neighbors. So that's awesome. And then last, if I forgot anything, I'll just include it in the next video. Once my phone charges a little bit, like usual. The last is Polish My Life. I got to say hi to her as I was walking by. And then another little polish con thingy here. And she also gave, I'm thinking this is like sort of like, um, oh gosh, I don't know. It smells like coconut. I'm guessing it might be like a, like a lotion. It smells really good. It doesn't have any kind of like a scent or anything. And then her polish was Magic and Mystery on Broadway. Really pretty purple. As you can see, the shimmer kind of just settled in that area right there. It's got iridescent shimmer. I should have shook it up before showing it. But this one is really, really pretty. Beautiful. So that's all of what I got in my VIP bag. I was so excited to go. I was so overwhelmed with all the pretty polishes that were there. 
and I'm glad of what I got. Um, you know, I can always order more from these people, so I can't wait to do that. Not anytime soon, because my husband was already giving me eyeballs when we were walking through, and he was like, are you still spending? And I'm like, yes. And my daughter was sneaking up in there. She got like six polishes out of me. And these polishes are, I have to say, they are expensive. More than the ones that you find in stores. But they are totally worth it. But yeah, that's for another video. <laughs> I'll stop this one and charge my phone a little bit. And then I will be back with the haul that I um, gathered from PolishCon. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.